Hello friends, welcome to the Viva Voice of Anatomy. In today's video, we see the side determination of all the bones of the lower limb starting from the hip bone. So, in the hip bone, the flat expanded ilium form the upper part of the bone. Ilium lies superior. Second, the acetabulum, this articular fossa, acetabulum faces laterally. So, you should keep this acetabulum towards your palm like this when you catch the bone. Third thing, the obturator foramina, this obturator foramina lies below the acetabulum and this obturator foramina is bounded anteriorly by the thin pubis and posteriorly by the thick ischium. Okay? So, by keeping these three points together, the given bone is of a right side. Now, the trick to identify the side of the hip bone, when you catch the hip bone in the correct hand, means if, if it is of right side and if you catch in the right hand, the acetabulum touches your palm and your thumb lies in the greater sciatic foramen. Now, it is the right side bone. If I catch it, I, I consider it of it of a left side then acetabulum touches my palm because it is I keep it on the laterally but here see the fingers lies in the greater sciatic nodes which is wrong. So, this is the correct side determination of the hip bone. Now, the second bone in the lower limb that is a femur. So, in the femur upper end contain, contains rounded head and the lower end lower end is expanded from the side to side to form the two contact. Second point, the rounded head is facing medially. And the third point, this shaft is having a convex city forward. You can see it from the side view. It is convex forward. So, this given ball is of a left side. Next bone, a patella, sesamoid bone. Patella is a triangular in the shape when the apex is facing downward. How will you identify the apex? Apex is having a rough non-articular area posteriorly. Okay? The apex is facing downward. Second, the anterior surface is rough and non-articular and the posterior surface is smooth and articular in its upper three-fourth. Now, in this posterior articular area, it is divided by a vertical ridge into larger lateral part and smaller medial part. Larger part should place laterally. Okay? So, when you put this ball on the table with the apex is facing downward, it will lay it on the larger lateral side, means it laid on the side to which it belongs. So, the given bone is of a right side. Now, the next bone is a tibia. So, first thing remember in the tibia, the tibia is a bone of a medial side of the leg. It lies on the inner side of the leg. Now, the side determination in the tibia, upper end is expanded from the side to side to form the two condyles, medial condyle and lateral condyle. Second point in the lower end, its medial part or the medial end is projects downward from the range of the part and this projecting part is known as a medial malleolus. So, this part should lies medial. And the last part, anterior border of the tibia is a more prominent and it is sinusly curved and the crest like which is known as a scene of the tibia. And in the upper part of the scene, you can see the tibial tuberosity. So, these two things lies anteriorly. So, this bone is of a right side. Now, the next bone is a fibula. So, remember the first thing, the fibula is a bone of a lateral side of the leg. It lies on the outer side of the leg. Now, the side determination. The upper end, which is also known as a head, it is expanded in the all the direction. Okay, and on the superior surface, it shows one facet for the tibia. And 
a lower end is compressed from the side to side. Now, the second point lies in the lower end, second two points lies in the lower end. In the lower end, on its medial side or a inner side lies articular facet which is triangular and deep malleolar fossa. So, the medial side of the lower limb, these two things lies, articular triangular facet and deep malleolar fossa. Now, out of these two things on the medial side, the triangular articular facet lies anteriorly and the deep malleolar fossa lies posteriorly. So, by keeping these three points together, the given bone is of a left side. Last bone in the lower limb that is articulated foot. So, in the articulated foot to determine the side, the tarsal bone lies proximally and the phalanges lies distally. Second thing, among the tarsal bone, the largest tarsal bone that is the calcaneum that lies inferiorly and second largest tarsal bone talus lies superiorly. The last part a thumb, a toe, a great toe. A great toe is facing medially. How to identify the great toe? Great toe is having the thickest and the shortest metatarsal bone and having two phalanges. That is the great toe that is facing medially. So, this given articulated foot is of a right side.